In today's show, the Bitcoin price rise to $500,000 is inevitable, according to the Winklevoss twins, who go on the record to share that the real adoption of the asset class hasn't even started. That's right, the Gemini crypto exchange founders, Tyler and Cameron Winklevoss, said that the Bitcoin price will eventually hit a half a million dollars per coin during a recent interview with Peter McCormick on the What Bitcoin Did podcast entitled The Case for the $500,000 Bitcoin. Tyler goes on to share in the podcast, the question in our mind is not so much does it get to 500,000, but how quickly his thesis takes the market cap of gold and theoretical central bank allocation into consideration. He shares, I would sort of contend that $500,000 Bitcoin is actually pretty conservative and the game hasn't even really started. And Tyler just tweeted, the US dollar is no longer a reliable store of value. Cameron and I make the case for a $500,000 Bitcoin with Peter McCormick. I'll be giving you all the juicy highlights right here in today's show. Also in today's episode, Bitcoin has considerable upside as it better competes with gold as an alternative currency, according to JP Morgan, who once called Bitcoin a fraud back in 2017. That's right. Dan Tapero just highlighted it right here. Holy cow. Most bullish commentary for Bitcoin that I've read from JP Morgan. Even modest crowding out of gold takes Bitcoin up multiples. Widespread research piece reaches all clients of the bank. PayPal announcement cover for the traditional players to get involved. I'll be breaking this all down for you in today's show. Also in today's episode, Bitcoin Wealth clusters pinpoint three key levels for the Bitcoin price rally to continue. I'll be doing some Bitcoin technical analysis. We'll also be taking a look at the overall crypto market. As we can see, Bitcoin and most of the major altcoins are back in the red. But where's the Bitcoin price likely to go from here? Find out all this plus so much more in today's show. Here at Crypto News Alerts, I drop a brand new episode every single day. So be sure to smash that subscribe button. That's right. And turn on all notifications to receive daily premium crypto news alerts every single day, including weekends just like this. And before I kick off today's show, if interested in tapping into OPM, leveraging other people's money to grow your wealth and crypto portfolio, then smash that link right below this video in the description. All right, welcome back to another episode of Crypto News Alerts. I'm your host, JV. Let's kick it off by diving into today's top story of the day. The Bitcoin price rise to $500,000 is inevitable, according to the Winklevoss twins who say that real adoption of the asset class hasn't even started. That's right, Gemini Crypto Exchange founders Tyler and Cameron Winklevoss said the Bitcoin price will eventually hit a half a million dollars per Bitcoin during a recent interview with podcast host Peter McCormick, which I'll include in the show notes below the video in the description. Now, for some of the highlights. The question in our mind is not so much does it get to $500,000, but how quickly Tyler told McCormick during the podcast episode. His thesis takes the market cap of gold and theoretical central bank allocation into consideration. I would sort of contend that a $500,000 Bitcoin price is actually pretty conservative and the game hasn't even really started. Cameron noted MicroStrategy and others buying significant amounts of Bitcoin for their treasury reserves seems to indicate that the market is beginning to shift. What if Every Fortune 100 or 500 company does that. What if central banks started to do that, Cameron asked. It hasn't even started. He added, analogizing that Bitcoin is in the bottom of the first in a nine-inning baseball game. Wall Street is not here yet. Institutions aren't in Bitcoin right now. It's been a retail phenomenon for the last decade. So Wall Street talks about it. They're aware of Bitcoin, but they're not really in it from our perspective. But it's starting to happen. The basis for the interview was a recent report from Tyler and Cameron Winklevoss published in August of 2020 entitled The Case for the $500,000 Bitcoin. As you can see right here on your screen, I'll include this in the show notes below the video in the description. It's an excellent read, so be sure to check it out. And now for some of the highlights from this conversation. The brothers began constructing the report in January 2020. Cameron said in the interview with Peter McCormick, we started to think about what the government has been doing with the US dollar for the past decade or so and traditional or stores of values and hedges, Cameron explained. The twins halted work on the report in March when the COVID pandemic gained the global foothold. They resumed the paper several months later after evaluating the economic changes brought on by the virus. Tyler said him and his brother began buying Bitcoin back in 2012. Part of the rationale for the report stemmed from evaluating the assets performance amid the surrounding economy over the past decade. And I do believe they became the first Bitcoin billionaires on paper. And while a growing number of bullish predictions for Bitcoin surfaced throughout 2020, some have remained skeptical, such as gold bug Peter Schiff. 
hey, he's the biggest Bitcoin troll in existence, but now he's struggling with some tax situation, which I'm not even gonna get into right here. But let's just say Bitcoin is way up more than gold this year and it will continue to soar faster than the precious metal. That's just my two Satoshis. Let me know your thoughts in the comments right down below. And now before I get to our next story of the day, Bitcoin has considerable upside as it better competes with gold as an alternative currency. According to JP Morgan, who once called Bitcoin a fraud back in 2017. But first, let's take a look at the overall crypto market. We can see Bitcoin down about a quarter percent, trading at about $12,842. We have Ethereum down about 0.9%, trading at $413 XRP down about 0.9% trading just above 25 and a half cents. Miss Litecoin up four and a half percent trading at $58. We have Chainlink up just over 2% trading at $12 and 46 cents. So as you can see, most of the altcoins are back in the red. All right, now let's break down our next story of the day, shall we? Bitcoin's 2020 surge could be set to continue as the digital currency better competes with gold as an alternative currency. JP Morgan said in a note on Friday, Bitcoin has surged more than 70% year to date in this week's announcement that PayPal would allow its users to buy, sell, and exchange the asset served as another high-level endorsement for the cryptocurrency. Earlier this month, Square purchased $50 million worth of Bitcoin as it further commits to viewing the digital currency as a long-term investment. But Bitcoin is still a relatively small asset class, and it's mostly favored by millennial investors who are not as influential in the market as the older generations that predominantly favor physical gold. But guess what? Those gold bugs are dying out just like Peter Schiff. According to JP Morgan, the physical gold market is now worth two. $2.6 trillion, which includes assets held within gold ETFs. For Bitcoin to catch up to gold in terms of market value, the crypto would have to surge 10x from its current levels. Even a modest crowding out of gold as an alternative currency over the longer term would imply doubling or tripling of the Bitcoin price. So let's do some math. According to JP Morgan, if Bitcoin doubled, that would put the Bitcoin price at approximately 26000 with Bitcoin currently trading around 13000 And for the Bitcoin price to triple, as JP Morgan predicts that would put the Bitcoin price just under 40000 at about $39,000. And over time, the crypto could be held for other reasons than being a store of wealth, as gold is, according to JP Morgan. Cryptos derive value not only because they serve as stores of wealth, but also due to their utility as means of payment. The more economic agents accept crypto as a means of payment in the future, the higher their utility and value, JP Morgan explained. Simply put, the risk is to the upside for Bitcoin. The potential long-term upside for Bitcoin is considered as it competes more intensely with gold as an alternative currency, we believe, given the millennials would become over time a more important component of investors' universe, JP Morgan concluded. The technicals are also pointing to a continued surge in Bitcoin. According to technical strategist Katie Stockton, the crypto could surge to $14,000 as the short term momentum improves. That's right. So, how many of you are currently bullish on the king of all crypto? Holla at your boy. And now, checking out this tweet from Dan Tapiro. Holy cow, most bullish comment for Bitcoin that I have read from JP Morgan. Even modest crowding out of gold takes Bitcoin up multiples. We're talking about 2X would put Bitcoin at 26K and 3X would put Bitcoin right below $40,000. Now keep in mind that this widespread research piece will reach all the clients of the bank. All right, and before I break down our next story of the day, Bitcoin well clusters pinpoint these three key levels for the Bitcoin price rally to continue. And I share with you some Bitcoin technical analysis. First, let's take a look at the overall crypto market cap sitting at 394 billion with 79 billion in volume in the past 24 hours and current Bitcoin dominance is 60 0.9% according to coin market cap. And now checking out the top gainers within the top 100. We have Ocean Protocol up 21%, trading just below 42 cents. We have ABBC coin up 19%, trading just below 56 cents. Elron up 15%, trading at $9.37. The Midas Touch Gold up 7%, trading at 2 cents. Theta up 5.5%, trading at 69 cents. We have YFI up 5%, trading just above 15,200. And CRO, crypto.com coin, up 4% trading at 10 cents. And now checking out the biggest losers within the top 100. We have Hedge Trade down 6.8%, trading just below 67 cents. Loop Ring down almost 6%, trading just below 16 cents. Reserve Rights down 4.6%, trading at 1.4 cents. And Nano down 4%, trading at 85 cents. Now out of this list of the biggest gainers and losers, which altcoins in particular are you most bullish on right now? Drop me a comment. 
right down below. And now checking out the BitMEX margins, we can see the bears are barely back in control, leading with about 9 million in superiority in the last 24 hours, with shorts leading 50.4% versus 49.5% longs. Are you currently bullish or bearish on the king of all crypto? Holla at your boy. And now checking out one of my favorite indicators. It's the Crypto Greed and Fear Index. Shows we're currently rated a 73 in greed. Yesterday, a 74 greed. Last week, a 56 greed. And last month, a 39 in fear. And if you're not familiar with the Crypto Greed and Fear Index, extreme fear can be a sign. Investors are too worried. That can be a great buying opportunity, aka BTFD, buy that freaking dip. And when investors are getting too greedy, that means the market is due for correction. All right, and before I share with you this final story of the day, sharing new data which reveals three whale clusters around 12,000 that should act as support and resistance areas for the Bitcoin price in the short term, and I dissect this Bitcoin technical analysis. First, I wanna remind you to smash that show more button right below this video in the description for a detailed analysis of what's going on in the market. This goes for all 575 plus videos right here on my YouTube channel. Also, some very helpful resources for you to plug into, including the blog to my podcast, which could be found at cryptonewsyes.com. Also, be sure to smash that subscribe button right below this video to help support the channel. If you're listening or tuning in on a different platform outside of YouTube, the direct YouTube link is cryptonewsalerts.net. You can also find us on all the major podcasting platforms from Spotify, the home of the Joe Rogan experience, to Apple's iTunes. You'll find the links right here in the description. You can also follow us on Twitter to receive daily crypto news alerts. My Twitter handle is crypto news. Yes, and for those of you active on Facebook, I do have a private crypto Facebook group entitled Crypto Alchemy. To join it, click this link, request to join. I'll be sure to plug you in. And for those of you active on Telegram, as I am, I do have a private crypto Telegram chat. To join it, click this link. You'll automatically be added, and I'm looking forward to connecting with you personally on the inside. All right, now let's break down our final story of the day, shall we? According to Well Map, there are three major Bitcoin well clusters in the near term that might serve as key technical levels, the 11,857, 12,256, and 12,868 levels would likely act as important support and resistance areas. In previous cycles, well activity coincided with significant price movements at crucial technical levels. For instance, a well that sold at 12,000 after hodling for years in the next week Bitcoin dropped to sub $10,000. As you can see on your screen, the hourly map of unspent Bitcoins. What are the whale clusters and why are they important in the first place? Well, whale clusters form when whales buy Bitcoin and do not move their BTC holdings. This indicates that whales are accumulating Bitcoin in the areas where the clusters materialize. The larger Bitcoin whale cluster has formed at 11,857 with previous clusters at 11,288 and 11,465. In the near term, that signifies that the 11,857 is considered a big support area by the whales. That's right. Now, Bitcoin would have to remain above 11,857 or consolidate above it to see a broader rally. The ideal technical structure for a rally continuation would be to stabilize at 11,900 after a major rally. Some consolidation to neutralize the futures market could make the ongoing uptrend healthier. Since October 2nd, in just over three weeks, the price of Bitcoin climbed 24% against the US dollar. Let's go BTC. In the same period, gold has slightly risen by 0.2% as Bitcoin outperformed most risk on and safe haven assets. I repeat, Bitcoin since October 2nd has surged 24% against the US dollar when gold has only risen by 0.2%. What's a better asset? You already know, fam. Throughout most of the rally, the futures market demonstrated negative or neutral funding rates. As such, the rally itself was not highly overcrowded and is not in danger of a larger pullback. That means the market is still looking pretty bullish, if you're to ask me. Still a corrective price movement following a month of consistent rallying would further stabilize the upward movement. Why are whales accumulating Bitcoin at these particular price points? Whales might have been buying all the way from early 11,000s to 12,000 due to the context of the current rally. Technically, Bitcoin broke out of a three-year range with the daily chart confirming the highest price point since January of 2018. As Cointelegraph reported, the daily candle of Bitcoin has never closed above 12,900 for nearly three years. And guess what? We finally did it. We touched 13,200. Now atop the technical reasons, the perception of Bitcoin as a potential competitor against gold is also strengthening alongside network fundamentals. Consequently, the institutional demand for Bitcoin has considerably spiked as seen by the rise of the CME Bitcoin futures 
market. That's right. Meanwhile, researchers at Santiment, an on-chain market analytics firm, point out that Bitcoin appears to be decoupling from other markets throughout historical bull cycles. When Bitcoin demonstrated independent price movements, it caused the momentum to strengthen. They said Bitcoin has historically thrived when its reliance on world markets and other asset classes and industries is minimal and trading can operate independently without interference from non-crypto events such as distractions, the confluence of Bitcoin resilience above 11,900, an important whale cluster, as well as various favorable technical factors may help Bitcoin overpower several bearish signals in the short term to keep the current rally going. That's right. If you're to ask me, this Bitcoin rally is just getting started. I predict a new all-time high this fourth quarter of 2020. Let me know if you agree or disagree in the comments right down below. And now for a quick recap of what I covered with you here in today's show. The Bitcoin price rise to $500,000 is inevitable, according to the Winklevoss twins who say that the real adoption of the asset class hasn't even started. And I shared with you all the highlights from this exclusive interview with Peter McCormick on the What Bitcoin Did podcast, where they go on to share the question in our mind is not so much does it get to 500,000, but how quickly agreed. That's the million dollar question at hand. They made the case for the $500,000 Bitcoin. All the links are in the show notes right down below. Also in today's episode, I shared that Bitcoin has considerable upside as it better competes with gold as alternative currency. According to JP Morgan, who once called Bitcoin a fraud back in 2017. Also, I'm going to quote the Winklevoss twins right here. Bitcoin is a better version of gold than gold itself. And I'm sticking to it. So where do you feel the Bitcoin price is likely to go from here? Drop me a comment right down below. Well, that's going to conclude today's show. As always, I appreciate you tuning in and journeying along with me inside this incredible crypto matrix. If you gain value out of today's show, be sure to smash that subscribe button. That's right. And turn on all notifications to receive daily premium crypto news alerts every single day, including weekends just like this. And real quick before I go, if interested in tapping into OPM, leveraging other people's money to grow your wealth and crypto portfolio, then smash that link right below this video in the description and register for this free system entitled OPM Wealth. You'll be glad you did. And I look forward to seeing you on tomorrow's episode. Peace.